What up guys? I decided while I have some free time at the moment to kind of throw together a quick MFF recap. Uh, my phone's a little shaky because my hand's holding it so I apologize uh, and I apologize that it's going to be not really too much edited or edited all actually. Uh, but I wanted to get an MFF recap out because I wanted to and I think people want to hear what I had to say about the con and the experience and whatnot. Anyways, I took the train from Boston to Chicago. Uh, had to actually take the commuter rail in first to get into Boston. We sat there for a bunch of hours because we didn't know how we were going to get into Boston at rush hour to bring our, I think we had three rolly bags and backpacks and our suit heads. And we got on the train at like five, six o'clock in the morning and train station by me because I'm not in Boston. I'm in Central Mass. So we got a train station near me, got on the train at like six o'clock, five o'clock, whatever. I remember waking up at five. I think, I think I was, I somehow woke up before my alarm and I don't know how I did that. And I was somehow wired. And me being wired at the tower means my, uh, my nerves and my, you know, my excitedness about going to MFF kind of kicked in into high gear and made me aware of getting up and getting ready and whatnot. Uh, slightly nervous about the trip because I didn't want to lose anything. We got into Boston just fine. Uh, we checked our bags, uh, which was nice. So those got checked right away when we got there and we found the baggage place. Uh, Cause we didn't, this is our first time taking the Amtrak in South Station. So, or at all for me. So for us to, um, we had to find stuff and we got, you know, directions on where to put stuff. So we dropped our, our, most of our stuff off. We carried our backpacks cause uh, we did that. And we hung around the station. We uh, actually got, um, because we had a sleeper car, so we got access to the lounge there, uh, included in our ticket price. So we actually hung out there, uh, called, we did that, to, we took that moment to actually call all of our credit card companies and say, hey, we're traveling, don't cancel my card. Uh, so we did that, they had a TV. The, uh, the lounge uh, was okay. Um, it, I mean, stuff was not up and working and whatnot. In terms of like, there was pa paint peeling and whatnot. They could, you know, do some stuff to help renovate the section. But I mean, the chairs were comfy and they had free food, uh, which is also pretty good. Uh, and clean bathrooms, because those are kind of, those are good. Uh, because barely anybody was in there. Uh, so they were not being used much. They had like a, like a couple, t uh, computers you could use to, you could rent hours on, and you can print out stuff on it. Uh, I didn't need that because we had our phones and we were all set to go and whatnot, but the, uh, the lady at the counter who checked us in when we got there gave us like printed out tickets, which was very nice because I had on, only on my phone. Um, so we had to give those to the conductor or whatnot so they could scan them and then bring them back or whatever. But super, super nice. Uh, they got us all set and they even, you know, came to alert us when it was our time to uh, actually go on the train. Uh, we had a red cap come up and say, hey, you know, it's time to board. I'll take you out there. So he took us out to the train uh, and then we got on. Super, super cool. We had, uh, we had a bedroom, which is uh, one of the bigger, it's not the biggest, one of the bigger rooms on the Amtrak was the biggest room on our train, minus the handicap room, uh, bedroom, but, so we had that, uh, had two, it had like the, the bench seating, one side, our side there was one chair, uh, table that folds out, uh, and then there was a bed that folded down from the top, and then the bench seating turned to a bed as well, so we had beds, uh, and we had our own private shower toilet thing, which is always, you know, nice to have, uh, instead of having to share with everybody. The, uh, the view liner, uh, roomettes, I got to see those, and I had originally booked one of those, but then Jones was like, no, let's go bigger, uh, cause you will, you will, like, regret getting your room that small, uh, 
So we ended up upgrading to that and I got to see them now. <laughs> and they're, they're pretty tiny, not gonna lie. Uh, if I'm traveling by myself, that might make sense. Or if, uh, you know, we decide to save some money next time, we may go with that. Because uh, it's a shorter trip and we may just do something like that. I don't know. Uh, but those have a bathroom as well. Uh, they have a toilet, actually. They don't have a separate room for the toilet. Uh, <laughs> so if you get one of those and, um, and you share with somebody that you don't, you know, want to see you taking a bath, like a, a to go into the bathroom, you're going to want to go down to the, uh, the different car to go to the bathroom, because that one's awkward. <laughs> Literally very awkward, because um, it's also used as a stepping stone to get up to the upper bunk in that room as well. Uh, but yeah, super, super awkward. Wouldn't go to the bathroom with anybody in there. Uh, but we had our, 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 uh, our room came with food, which is awesome. Uh, so we got on the train and there was a little menu and we got to pick what we wanted for lunch. And they gave us lunch in our room, which is kind of cool. Uh, and my favorite part was the dessert, because our, uh, our car attendant is like, do you guys want those cookies heated up? Because I ordered a chocolate chip cookie. And he's like, do you want those like heated up? I looked at him and was like, yes, please. So I got a nice warm gooey cookie on a train. Super, super cool. Uh, then we had dinner later. We, uh, we actually met up with Faldor uh, as he was on our train to MFF. And he hung out with us for a little bit. Then we caught up with him at uh, dinner. Uh, we all had dinner together uh, in the dining car. So that was kind of cool um, to be able to hang out with him. And he was showing us you know, how fast we're actually going on the train, which we hit like 100 something miles an hour while we're in the dining car. Uh, cool but also kind of scary at the same time. I don't know. Because uh, our one of the wheel bearings or something on the train was just right underneath us and it was just like making the most horrible noise while we were like speeding down the road, like the, the train tracks. Why did I say road? I don't know. I'm used to saying that. I don't know. Uh, slipped, uh, slipped uh, on the beds. They were, they were okay. Um, I mean... It was weird sleeping on train to begin with, so I mean the beds are gonna be weird as well. But managed to fall asleep, uh, which is good. Uh, and then we basically next day we got up, got breakfast, and then we pretty much arrived in Chicago at nine in the morning uh, Central Time. So that was pretty cool. Um, then we got off the train. We actually uh, we actually were gonna go get like an Uber or something with Valor, but well, he has a friend in uh, Chicago and his dad actually came to pick us up. So um, I really would like to uh, shout out to uh, Miko, Mikando Otto, uh, and thank you uh, for having your dad come pick us up because it saved a lot of trouble and time for us uh, to get to the hotel. So thank you so much. Uh, tell your father that, you know, he's the awesome because um, then saved us a lot of like stress and whatnot. Uh, especially because we got in a new city and Jonas and I were, Jonas has been there, but I was new to the city and he hadn't been in a while. So it was nice to have a ride to get there. Uh, yeah. So the con itself, um, cause I kind of been rambling about the train and I might, I might've enjoyed the train trip. Uh, con itself, super, super awesome con. Um, we had one of the like executive king room so we kind of had a nice we weren't in the, like the elevator con line at all which was super super nice um we had like one time where there was elevator con and they had staff over there and then by the time we got downstairs again elevator con was gone the staff were gone uh so that was kind of so that was kind of cool um we didn't really have to wait for an elevator uh so that was a huge perk uh to having room over there um i got to suit a lot, uh, not as much as I wanted to. Uh, I missed, my biggest regret is that we had some stuff going on and I missed the, uh, the more for less group photo. So I kind of got a little upset about that. Um, cause I didn't get to the photo in time and then I missed it and I just not, was not happy puppy. Um, I got to meet up with some people I hadn't got to meet before. Um, so that was kind of exciting. 
I got to meet a bunch of the More For Less family, and let me tell you, they're even more awesome in person. Uh, we actually got, I got to go out to dinner with some of them, and it was super, super fun. Definitely would do it again at another con when there's a bunch of us, because that was, that was nice. I mean, I really have only got to, like, talk to them in chats, because they usually don't come out to um, the cons that I go to usually, minus the local ones, and those guys don't count because I'm friends with all of them for the most part, um, or I talk to them on like a regular basis, so it's not like a huge deal, I, I know most of them. Um, so to meet some of like the west coast ones and then the uh, other ones from different parts of the east coast that I, was, I wasn't even aware of uh, who were out there, super super fun. Um, Um, I didn't actually go to one of the dances. I tried to go, I think, on my first night there. And I had a bag with me because I got a bag for a bag of holding for the condition. And I'll probably do a review on that soon because that bag was freaking awesome uh, for the con itself. But because the first night they weren't letting bags in for some reason, they just they wouldn't let me in. So I said, screw it, I'm not I'm not gonna bother. So. <laughs> I turned around and went back to Jonas, who was in the Headless Lounge, and I said, they won't let me in because I have a bag. And I literally didn't have any, like, drugs or alcohol in the bag because I really actually didn't really drink at this con, which was kind of weird. I don't know. I usually have more booze, and I didn't have a lot of booze at this one for some reason, which doesn't make quite any sense. Um, all I had in the bag was pins and, like, stickers and my phone and the charger. And I literally was like, you want to look at my bag? I'll, I'll show you. And they didn't, they didn't give a shit. They're like, you can't come in. So I left and they fixed that policy for the next day. But I mean, I didn't end up going just because I had other stuff going on during the, the raves um, that I was busy with that I couldn't, you know, go down to the rave. Um, there was one night that I think Jonas and I were just exhausted um, to the point where we literally got in bed, we're watching TV and ordered room service of fries because we wanted more fries after dinner for some reason and then I got like a chunk of milk or something <laughs> and that was during the, one of the raves and I just just I was just happy because I was just you know I was off my feet because we've been we walked around a lot and my feet were hurting me and his feet were hurting him and my knee um I had tendonitis still might still have a little bit of it uh in my knee and it wasn't the greatest. It was it was getting better during the con, but too much walking was causing it to be slightly painful. So that was a nice, you know, break from popping around everything. Um, what else? What else? Um, I gave out a lot of pins and stickers, so if you guys got them, awesome. If not, I have more. They will be at my next con, which is a &E. uh, I may not be in suit much. I have to, I'm working some of the con, so I'll be busy um, with that. But when I think mostly at night, I can suit for the most part. Um, might do some during the day, but it all depends on the scheduling and whatnot, and if I'm needed for filming and purposes and whatnot. So that's kind of my suiting on that is to, to be determined on that, just because I need to make sure I'm doing my job first, because. Um, that's the right thing to do, is doing your job. Uh, so, if you're not going to A&E, you totally should, because it's going to be freaking awesome. New hotel. Uh, new hotel is super, super awesome. Uh, the ballroom is amazing. So, if you got turned away last year from the dance comp, that should not be an issue this year. Uh, it should not be an issue. They have plenty of space now. Um, so, do that. Uh, and you can come see me and get hugs because I give out hugs and hugs are good anyways I think that really wraps up what I have to talk about for you know MFF stuff um, I am trying for next year to go back to MFF I enjoyed it um, but we'll see if I can get a room again and time and money and all that fun stuff because my PTO work changed so I have to see um, I had to start planning all that stuff out and figuring out can I like take off like my Christmas time I usually do and can I do 
any BLFC and MFF. Um, because I'm trying to do BLFC this year because there's more people I want to meet who go to BLFC and I want to meet my makers if they can go, if they're going because that's one of the closer cons for them to go to uh, since they haven't come out to the East Coast in a while or yeah. So hopefully those three cons for next year. Okay my video cut out because my phone of course I don't empty my phone for space so I'm gonna make this brief. Uh, if I do MFF next year, I'm gonna try to get more people to do a train, maybe rent out a train car. I don't know. Uh, more details will hopefully come on that later on in the year if I end up doing it. Uh, so if you're anywhere in like the New York area or um, Boston and you are on the train line for the Lakeshore Limited, uh, you can hop on and have some fun with us because we'll probably do that again next year. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.